All right, everybody, welcome back to another video of an indie game. This is not a first play on launch day, but this is going to be a, another look at or a re-review, I sometimes call it, of a survival game that I played back in October of 2019. So what is that about? It's May now, so a little more than two and a half years ago. Uh, Area Z came out in early access, and you can see I reviewed this game on October 23rd, 2019. That's the release date for the game. And it was, uh, you know, what looked like a promising survival game, open world survival game. It is just single player. Uh, it is still in early access, but the game does cost $18. Now you see that I gave the game a negative review. And in fact, I think it made my miss series here. Uh, yeah, it made my miss series here. Uh, miss number 69, uh, still $18 when he launched it, and I said it was about 5% complete. Uh, I gave it a 13% score, and it said it was really uh, just a mess. It was a bunch of assets thrown together. But basically, I just said it was a bunch of assets uh, thrown together. And now, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it, because if we look at the game, even though it's an early access, we see that the developer has been putting out a lot of updates over the uh, months and years. Uh, we have wild boars, we have realistic animals added, we have uh, bears added, updates, changes to the grass, birds added, uh, sea life and reptiles added, snakes, turtles, fish, etc. So craftable backpacks, uh, a lot of this stuff looks like Clothing added, guns added, shooting added, horses added. So a lot of the stuff is like new animals added over the years. But we're going to go back, guys, and see if uh, Area Z, Hardcore Survival, is actually any better on the gameplay front uh, after the two and a half years uh, since this game came out in Early Access uh, back in 2019. So we'll do that, and we'll do that right after this. All right, welcome back, everybody. We've launched the game. This is what the game, uh, you know, opens up to. Version number 45,000. Okay, I think that's the highest version of any application or game I've ever seen. This is the very first version available to play and test, but it's version 45,000. All features, including characters, maps, items, and gameplay, are subject to change during development. AreaZGame.com. Uh, he has his own Discord main tips. Uh, Noom Menus, number minus, enables debug screen, okay? Game is a work in progress, lots of assets. Yeah, I'm sure you do have lots of assets. Models, animations, and sounds will be replaced during development. You can die from low health caused by no energy, drown, or be eaten by predators. You cannot die from fall, heat, cold, or burn. Not you cannot die from falling... It doesn't seem like this guy has great English grammar. UI is optimized for 1920 by 1080. Once check the functionality, we will make graphical design and optimize it for other screen resolutions as well. Crouching is temporarily switched off. Have fun. Duro Bulo. All right. So again, yeah, we're going on the third year of development and early access for this game. Let's hope this is a better game than what we had uh, originally. So I did go ahead and look at some of the uh, the video changes here, guys. I did turn turn shadows down. I turned post-processing down to try to eliminate the motion blur. Uh, and some of the uh, FPS killers I turned down as well, like the grass density, the grass view distance, and the uh, shadows. I turned these down already. And then we have the controls. Uh, camera, that kind of stuff. Photo mode is P. So you can take a photo of your character in a survival game. Interesting. Alright guys, let's go ahead and just jump into this game. We're going to go into Coastal. Uh, Inland is not out yet. Available sometime in 2022. And I guess he's going to be buying a mountain map uh, sometime in later 2022. 
All right. Nope, we're not going to do... So we have Exploration, we have Eden, we have Hard, and we have Hell. Well, at least you have different uh, difficulties there. Loot volume 10 times higher. If you, if you go to Hard, loot volume 3 times higher. Hell, it's just regular loot. Okay, so that's basically... Uh, idle energy drains 33% daily, no stamina or uh, for running. Uh, it's no stamina loss, you mean, for running. The zero energy has no impact on health. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and do it. Hold food in your left hand while having the one right hand empty. The better the food type, the more calories it will provide. Okay. So this is really, really bright, as you can see. The clouds are floating, and I guess they look okay, but they also just look like... It doesn't look like a realistic sky, and the clouds aren't, like, changing their formation at all. What the hell? Do we have a loot drop, or is this just plane assets flying over? Okay. Okay, so we have a plane flying over. I don't feel like this is a loot drop thing. I feel like this is just assets put in the game. And more planes flying over. Okay, I mean, there's nothing wrong with planes flying over for, for effect. Okay. So if we hit tab, we have crafting. Consumable tool, kind of a complex crafting show all. Drink fresh water requires left hand empty, I guess, right hand empty, and nearby water. Okay, that's what we have. We have empty and give the hundred water. Okay, so how do I? How, oh, I can't drink seawater. I gotta find like fresh water, right? Um, water. Water do yeah, drink fresh water. Drink dirty water. Nearby water dirt. Nearby water do. Uh, drink swamp water. Uh, water swamp. Drink fresh water. Water catcher made from bamboo. Okay. So there's a lot of things here that looks like you can craft. Um, cut bamboo. Cut bamboo. Four pieces of bamboo. Open coconut requires left hand coconut, right hand obsidian. Okay, how do we find coconut? Because I want to eat a coconut. Uh, gives food, gives water. Drink. Gives water. Uh, where's food? Eat. Uh, oh, it caught, caught your calories go down when you eat a coconut. Okay. If we eat a coconut here, the left hand, it gives food 70 to 30 water. Okay, so we need to find an obsidian and we need to find some coconut. But what are our missions right now? Find an oyster. Find fresh raw oyster and use it as bait or food. Now we're not going to decline that mission. We need to find an oyster. And we need obsidian. Okay, so F to pick up an obsidian. Wow, that effect is a little bit too much, I'm just saying. A little over... Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that... Where'd you go, man? Oh, he keeps hiding. Okay. Whoa, buddy! What is this? Pick up a shell. Okay, this, this oyster, this looks like not much fun at all because it keeps going under the sand. There's lots of them, but how am I going to get one? Yeah, they just keep disappearing. Okay, wait a minute. Hold F to craft a stone knife. Okay. Okay, that sound effect is really weird.
Oh my god, man. This game is so weird. Okay. Well, let's try swimming. Okay, we can swim. Oh, raw oyster right there. F. F, we got a raw oyster. There we go. We had to go out in the water to get it. So if you go out in the water, you can get it easier. Okay, wait a minute. That looks really weird. Wait a minute. <laughs> this looks so so cheap. Like, oh, look at this. This is terrible looking. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I remember why this game got a bad review now. Like, the animations are terrible. And I know he just bought this asset with the... You know, with the... Uh, animations already built into the character. But this looks bad. Oh my god. Okay. So we go in here. Get... Or now we have a level 1 get line. I guess that's line? Get line to use it for crafting. How do I get line? Okay, so we have a shell. We have an oyster raw. Use it to cook. Okay. And we have in our right hand, we have the stone knife that we made. A prim yeah, primitive stone for cutting. Can also be used for combat. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So how do I get... What the hell? Alright, so we have some butterfly assets here. I mean, I guess he's trying to make his game look pretty, but... The problem is the animations here look so bad. Huh. What? <laughs> Again, it's just an animation included in this asset that he bought. Yeah. Well, at least I can't walk through trees. That's good to know after two and a half years of being on Steam. Okay, so what happens if we try to cut down a tree? Yeah. Find a more suitable one. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Find a more suitable one. Well, there's a coconut. Um. Yeah. Yeah. How about this one? That one looks yeah. small. Find a more suitable one. What is making that sound? There's a tapping sound over here. Oh! It's a crocodile. What? What? <laughs> I love how it just moves sideways. <laughs> oh, you're killing me, brah. This game, man. This fucking game. Okay, I can chop that one down, I see. Oh, this is great combat. This is fabulous combat. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to spend eighteen dollars on this, guys? Doesn't this combat just look so awesome? <laughs> you want to throw a bunch of assets together in a big empty map and make a survival game, and you want to charge for your game like what competent games would cost? I love how he just moves backwards. And I killed him. Although we found a... We found a... Leanne. F. <laughs> Sound effect, though. I can't get over it. Alright, use knife to get meat. Great. Use a knife to get meat. Yeah, I like how we don't cut it up or anything like that. I am using the knife to get meat. How do I do it? What the hell? I don't understand. Don't we have a knife? Is this stone knife? I'm using a stone knife. Wait a minute, what's this? Okay, we don't have any meat yet. F. F. What am I picking up? I don't understand. Yeah. What is going on, game? 
I have a knife. Okay, maybe I need to put this up here. Now, me. Oh, there we go. Now, if we hold that, we can cut it. Okay. There we go. I had to get rid of the line that was in my left hand. <laughs> oh my god, this game is so bad. Pick up bones, small. Green bones, huh? Great. Hold that to craft a noodle. And now we got another one after us. Where is it? I heard it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. it sounds like it's smacking. A, it sounds like it's smacking a tree. Oh, it's a bear. <laughs> so first we fight a crocodile. Now we got a bear asset chasing us down. <laughs> oh my god. I thought we were on like easy mode or whatever. What the hell? So now we have another crocodile and a bear asset chasing us. Can't jump up on the rock. <laughs> oh no! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Kill him. I love this combat, man. You have not survived. He's in low health. And let me guess, the bear's just gonna continue to smack me a hundred million times even though I'm already dead? No, I didn't. I'm surprised. Okay, respawn. Where the hell am I at now? Did I lose everything? I lost everything, okay. Pick up obsidian. Okay. Hey, I've been here before. I know where I'm at. Okay. So we can pick up another obsidian and we can craft a... Yep, we can craft a stone knife again. Because that worked out great for us before. Okay. So it tells you how many calories you are using or you have or whatever down at the bottom. And now we're already being chased by the bear again. <laughs> it's so loud, too. Oh my god. This fucking game, man. Hey, we found a line. Hi, bear. I love how the butterflies just pop in by a tree. You stop moving. Where's this bear at? I hear it. Oh, there he is. Yikes. We already tried fighting the bear once. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am not having any fun right now. This is not fun. <laughs> Smack! Does that hurt? I was just trying to pick up a mango. Oh my god. Alright, let's try to jump in the water. I'm almost dead, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like I have a... Okay, he started walking away. Alright, so if I... Can I eat this mango? Oh, that's a coconut. Sorry. Wait a minute. Let's. Where's my items? I have a consumable. I have a mango. Tasty fruit. Uh, how do I eat it? Okay. Um, put it in the health bar, maybe. One. Eat it. How do I eat it, man? Do I have to cut it up? No, I don't want to pick up obsidian. I want to cut up the mango. Uh, eat mango. Where's the mango? Eat steak. How do I eat the mango? There we go. Eat mango. Okay, so I can't have anything in my right hand. I see. So I gotta take this. Yeah, this is so... This is so awkward. Okay. Uh, did I eat it? Uh, hello? One? Now I'm hitting tab to try to go back to it. Okay. Eat. Gives 80 food. Now we're eating it. Okay. 
I'm getting a little bit of health back. Boy, we came really close to dying there. Okay, so do I still have more mango? Why do I still have a mango in my hot bar? Oh, now it's faded out. Okay. That took a minute for it to actually work properly. Yeah, this game is still a mess, guys, as you guys can clearly see. And now we have a mouse sliding around. Yeah, this is fantastic, guys. So the problem we have here, guys, is this game's been in development, in early access on Steam for more than two and a half years at this point. And he's added a lot of, like, updates, but it looks like he, all he's done is, like, added more and more assets to his world. Like, and the game doesn't function. I've hit F, like, several times to try to pick up this mushroom, but it's not letting me. I, don't, I have two empty hands here, and I'm hitting F. It shows me here a mushroom, but I can't pick it up. Put my targeting cursor on it. So the problem is the functionality of this game is absolutely abysmal. It's, it's terrible. I mean, it looks pretty enough. He has a nice enough map here. The assets look fine that he's purchased or added to this game. But there's no functionality. Like, right now, I can't pick this item up, and I don't know why. I don't know... Like... I don't know what's going on here. If I put a crafting... Well, can I pick things up now? F? No. So my ability to pick up items is broken. So somehow I broke that by eating the mango, I guess. You can see everything's faded out here. And, I mean, this is stuff that I'm talking about. This is like a user interface. It's still completely broken. Two and a half years after the game is launched. So let me see if we save the game. Okay, if I come back in and I exit game. Save and quit. Right. And, okay, I didn't want the game to act. Okay, the game completely exited. Let me let me uh, let me load the game up, and then I want to load the game from where I was at and see if I can suddenly start picking stuff up. Trying to quit the game and trying to relaunch it. There we go. Okay, so it took me trying to launch the game three times before I got it to work. We don't. We want to load before we save. Load. Survival tip. Diving. Okay, let's see if we can load it back in and see if we can start picking stuff up. Okay. Hello? Okay, this does look like where we saved it, but I don't remember a bear being by us. Okay, I want... Now, see, yep, we had to close the game. We had to save, close, and reload the game just to be able to pick up items again, just because we ate a mango. Uh, it did save our health and everything like that, so, I mean, part of the functionality is working. But, I mean, every time you eat, you're going to have to close your game and reload it. That's not great. Right? And then, again, just the animations on everything from fighting, the combat, the swimming. Pretty much every animation just looks terrible. Uh, and the game has so many, like, game-breaking bugs, it's not even funny. Uh, let's see if we can find... Like, one of those bamboo trees or whatever, so we can see what that looks like. Like, right here, yep. Okay, left mouse button to cut. Yeah. Okay, and see it just disappears, and then we can pick up palm leaves and stuff like that. And then it disappeared, and then it just pops in another one. Like, see what I mean? This is just so weird. Okay, so now we have... <laughs> We're holding him in our left hand, and the palm leaves are going through our body. See that? Yeah, this game is just in a terrible state, guys. There's no way in hell this is worth nearly $20. Like, it might be worth investing in if it was... What the hell? What?! <laughs> so a bee killed us now. Um... Okay. And then we get, we exit to the menu, but we still have the bee sounds. Okay. Quit. Yeah, we're going to put this. So, Area Z Hardcore Survival, guys. I remember this game having horrible animations and such back when it launched two and a half years ago. Uh, you know, it was pretty forgettable back then. But from what I can remember, I think this game was actually probably in a better state when it launched back in 2019 than it is now. It almost seems like the more assets and the more crap he's trying to add to the game, 
the worse it gets. And this is not the first like indie developer who's tried to make a survival game and that it seems like he just kept adding more and more assets. I know Age of Survival or whatever did the same thing. He just kept adding more and more shit to the game and it just got worse and worse and worse. An area hardcore survival doesn't seem like it's in any better of a state after all his uh you know updates and everything like that over the last two and a half years than it was back when he launched it. There's no way in hell this game's worth eighteen dollars. It's in a terrible state. Maybe if you could pick it up for a dollar ninety nine or two dollars and ninety nine cents, uh it might be worth it, you know, worth the investment one day. Uh maybe it would be in a halfway playable state. Uh but eighteen dollars right this like for something this broken and something where the animations look this bad, in my opinion, isn't worth it at all. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. This is a relook at Area Z Hardcore Survival on Steam. Uh, two and a half years after it launched and two and a half years after my initial review. So again, let me know what you guys think down here in the comments on YouTube. I appreciate you guys being here. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.